What is up, Glovers? This is your boy, White Glover, and today I'm going to be reviewing Over the Hedge. So, Over the Hedge is like, it's kind of like, um, I like rank my favorite uh, DreamWorks movies from worst to best. Uh, so, Over the Hedge is like my third favorite uh, DreamWorks movie. Uh, it's, 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 I think, in my opinion, uh, Madagascar and Over the Hedge are like similar movies to me, and, uh, um, and I love the characters, they're so funny, and even Hammy's, like, actually the funniest one of all time, and, um, the guy in the orange thing, I think he is, like, a animal ex exterminator, and he is, like, oh my gosh, I think he might be, like, kind of a dark person on, uh, in DreamWorks history, and the lady is, like, real funny, too, and, uh, uh my favorite part of her is when, uh, she, uh, realized that there's trash everywhere because of the animals. She was drinking coffee. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that, one, that one's really funny. And uh, I love the voice actors behind those characters. Uh, there's um, RJ voiced by Bruce Willis, obviously the star of Die Hard and what else? Many other movies. Let's see, The, the Expendables, uh... Yeah, pretty much I can remember. Well, pretty much I can remember is the Die Hard franchise. He actually he actually voiced uh, Spike in uh, Rugrats Go Wild, and uh, I can't remember uh, the other one. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I think that's the only one I can remember. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, also, Bruce Willis is a really good act actor. He recently also made in January twenty nineteen. Glass, which I just, uh, yeah, he's a pretty good guy, and I haven't seen, like, any movie by Bruce Willis, like, in a, in a while, but Over the Hedge and Rugrats Go Wild were just basically, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> probably have seen parts of Die Hard of him, and I also like, uh, uh, the turtle, I can't remember his name. I literally had a hard time figuring out what the green turtle's character name is, so go ahead and make fun of me. Maybe I know. Maybe I don't know. Type in the comments if you have seen the movie and tell me his name. So, I can't really remember. So, the name just goes in my head and then it just goes away. I just can't really remember. It's like sometimes I just can't really remember. <sighs> Alright. Hammy. Hammy is also like uh, a really cool character to see in the movie. And uh, uh, it's voiced by Steve Carell. He voiced other characters such as Gru from the uh, Despicable Me franchise. I've heard that they're making a fourth one, but it hasn't been developed yet. It's not developing yet. Uh, and he's a really he's a really funny character. I am a crazy rabbit squirrel. That has to be my favorite character, and the one who's burping APCs, and the one, and the one. Uh, uh, I can. Uh, oh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Just burping thank you. Not the word thank, but you. <laughs> <It's like that. laughs> oh, man. And I also love the... I can't remember her name as well. Type in the comments. See if you know her character if you have seen the movie. It's voiced by Wanda Sykes. I just... Man, I think Wanda... That's the only movie I think I've seen before. I think I've seen her in other movies. And... Whenever she's like voice acting or live action in front of the camera is what I'm talking about. And the other characters are pretty cool too. Um, oh yeah, the green uh, character, uh, the green turtle. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's voiced by Gary Shandl. Uh, I can't remember his last name. Gary Shandler. That's I think that's how it, I think that's his name. And I still can't believe. For those of you who don't know, that actor who played uh. That green turtle, can I still remember his name? Uh, he passed away in 2016. So, I think it's pretty much that if they made a sequel to this uh, movie, um, that if this movie was uh, uh, was getting made into a sequel in, from last year, that kind of would be too close to his death. So, I think they should make a sequel for in the next few years. Credits for the movie. Laugh out loud funny. By uh, Leonard Malton from Entertainment Tonight. And the other one 
a wonderful, funny family movie from jo Joel Siegel from Good Morning America. And two thumbs up from Ebert and Ra Roiber. Roiper? That, that, that's how you say it. I, I think I always really see those two guys uh, on the credits, like sometimes in the front, sometimes in the back. Actually, the, both the front and the back is why I see those two guys. So if I were if I were a part of those TV networks, I think I would say, if I were uh, for Over the Hedge, uh, I think for Over the Hedge too. If I were part of those TV networks and they had my name next to it, I think I would say the funniest movie than the first by Wyatt Glover from uh, CNBC, but something like that. Oh yes, guys, uh, th this movie is like so great, and uh, the movie is like about um, RJ, who is like so obsessed with chips and food and crap, and he gets uh, fit, he, and there's this growly bear who is like uh, willing to eat food, obviously, get the food, feed the bear. In real life, you can't feed bears at all, because they just, yeah, they don't like it, so I don't know what happens after you feed bear food. So I can't really remember. And then RJ ends up going uh, to the hedge filled with the gang of that green turtle, Hammy, that skunk, the, the two white possums, three head, the hedgehog family, and all the rest of the characters. Then they're all just really cool. And uh, the neighborhood, the neighborhood looks, let me tell you guys, the neighborhood in the movie almost looks like Utah. I swear to God, guys, it looks almost like Utah. So, in my own way, the next time you watch Over the Hedge, you'll find out that I said that the neighborhood in the movie almost looks like my neighborhood in Utah. So, uh, yeah. And the Pringles in the movie are so uh, great. They look like they're real, but they're actually 3D animated, which, uh, yeah, because... Yeah, it's it's really cool, and, he, and you can you can make a duck you can make a duck mouth too. Yes. <laughs> if I ever rate this movie between one and ten, I'm just gonna say an eight out of ten on this movie because uh, it's similar to Madagascar, but in Madagascar, uh, Alex, uh, Gloria. Melman and Marty, they go to, they're in New York City, but then they're in the zoo, and then the franchise, there was like three movies, there was going to be a fourth movie, but they canceled because of DreamWorks issues, I guess, um, and then Over the Hedge, but in Over the Hedge, RJ is obsessed with food, he goes into the, he goes to the hedge, filled with uh, the animals such as the green turtle, Hammy, Skunk, the hedgehog family, and the white possums, and all the other animals are in the film, and um, and the animal exterminator, and the uh, the lady, the funny lady, you know her? Yeah, I remember her. <laughs> Skunk. <laughs> that one's a little funny. <laughs> I love how she says it. Skunk. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, let me know in the comments which which one's your favorite over the hedge uh character. And, um, should they make a sequel? If you have an idea for an Over the Hedge sequel, comment below. Alright guys, please give the video a like, comment and subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the right. What if I post a video? And thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye bye <laughs>